So if you know me, you know that I have a lot of collections. I'm a collector of pop culture stuff, including lots and lots of buttons. <laughs> I have a ton of enamel pins. I have some kind of retro recreation buttons. I have some original pins and buttons. Let's see. This is just my jacket. I'm gonna give you a quick tour just for fun today because I've got nothing better to do, right? <laughs> Let's see, got an original uh, cult pin there. Tears for Fears button from their show, I think it was 2017 here in Nashville. This one's pretty cool. It's, uh, I think it's Duran Duran, yeah, it is that is something from either the 80s or 90s that is old. And I have a ton of Beetlejuice buttons. Beetlejuice is one of my favorite 80s movies, as you can tell. <laughs> oh gosh, this one is um, Apple. She is from a fantastic film called Turbo Kid, which is like this retro 80s film um, with some unsung heroes in it. If you haven't seen it, it's an independent film, check it out. Here's an original Tears for Fears. Susie and the Banshees in excess. That one's original. That's a really cool one. And some Depeche Mode and Cure and Bowie remakes. Bauhaus. So now I'm going to open up my little button box and show you what's inside. All right, take three. Welcome to the infamous button box. <laughs> so this is three layers of all kinds of different buttons that I've organized by theme for whatever reason, because I'm very organized. So these are all my Berlin and Germany type buttons and some uh, political statements. I care about books and so when they ban books, it pisses me off. You can just call me the black sheep of the family, whatever, I don't care. Um, <laughs> Here's just some weird, fun, little, silly summary ones. And then, so Nuvo is the newspaper I used to work for in Indianapolis when I started my journalism career as a music journalist. So I have a few of those buttons. Some Frothy Monkey Poetry Advocate from the Poet's House. The old F off button, everybody needs that. These are from my friend, Lydia Burris. She's an artist, she made these, she's fantastic. I met her in Indianapolis as well, but she has moved since. But you should support her art, and I will include a link to her art below. So the second tier here, and let me push this one in, are my, a lot of my 80s movie buttons, huge Beetlejuice collection, as you can tell. Check that out, that's an enamel pin I found on Etsy. Some of these are from Hot Topic, you can tell they're kind of not as good of quality, but a lot of them are better quality handmade items like this one, designed by an Etsy artist. Uh, I totally identify with her, <laughs> who doesn't, right? Good old Lydia Dietz, my Beetlejuice keychain, and of course the <laughs> the Maitlands. The Maitlands have a recurring theme in my house. I actually have some life-size Maitlands recreations that I picked up at the Halloween store last year, and they actually live in my closet. So every time I open my closet, I get to look at the Maitlands hanging there like creepy little fuckers. Anyway, <laughs> Ooh, Pee Wee Herman. Anybody that watched Pee Wee's Playhouse will remember this. Oh, upside down, sorry about that. Ha ha, I love this button, that's one of my favorites. Somebody on Etsy made that as well. Ah yes, anybody remember this movie? Leave your comment below if you know which movie it is from. Got some uh, more recent shows, Stranger Things. Stranger Things, the season four is coming out soon, I believe actually in May, May 27th, I believe. And if you follow my band, God in Rehab, we have a an original song that we will be posting soon um, in tribute to the show. It's called Upside Down. Hey, there's a Bowie button. I believe that's by someone 
from Etsy as well. Fat, fat cat fan glove. Yes, it reminds me of my cat Susie. She's so she's such a chonk, little chonk cat. Got a couple of duplicates here. Hedwig and the Angry Inch for all my Hedwig fans. And then we have this fabulous back row. Oh God, this is gorgeous. I love that Bowie one. Put that here. So if you are familiar with Last Craft Designs, I will um, include a link below, but you can see their website address right there. They make these awesome kind of uh, goth friendly alternative buttons that harken back to the 90s from the time that I was growing up and in my 20s and going to the goth club. So I saw those, of, of course, it's Robert Smith from The Cure, Susie from Susie and the Banshees, and then a fun little sign that reminds us all of better days from the past. So anywho, <laughs> let me close up the second tier here and we'll hit the third. Ah, uh, yes. So a lot of these in the front row are um, buttons that are a little bit more modern. They've been recreated um, to just be little merch items for fans of, of various bands. A lot of these are Depeche Mode buttons, Ball House, of course. Haha, -ha, I made myself, I made my own uh, magnet a long time ago for my band, The Sweetest Condition. So that one's in there as well. Anyway, uh, V and V Nation, if you are fans of that band, some uh, EDM for you. EBM, I'm sorry, electronic body music. Got some Bowie, some Cult, Blondie, more Susie Sue. A little birthday massacre action hiding there. Prince, of course, you gotta have Prince. I mean, come on. <laughs> Some Jim Morrison, Robert Smith again, a creepy looking Michael Jackson, and Daryl Hall and John Oates. Uh, Some buttons I got actually from their show here when they played with Tears for Fears. I believe that was 2017. Inertia, fantastic band that played here when they rolled through town. Some uh, Chelsea Wolf indie CD and vinyl. Wow, that's an old one. That's back when I lived in the Midwest. Bella Morte. Oh God, that one looks like it's deteriorating a little bit. <laughs> that's a band from the Midwest as well. It's kind of my goth rock bands, uh, my ode to goth rock bands and stuff back here. Um, that is Precog. A friend of mine used to be in that band. Uh, Gerald, shout out to you. See some, I got a Nam one here. I'd rather be at band camp. Wouldn't we all, right? <laughs> ah, Nam, believe in music. Got uh, ooh, another Nam one and lots of Nam ones actually. I'm kind of sad that they're not going to be having Nam, um, summer Nam here in Nashville anymore, as far as I know. Since the pandemic, they um, have changed up a lot of things and now I believe it's just in Anaheim in the winter which is quite a drive from here. So I don't think I'll be going there. Slicing Up Eyeballs, that is a really cool website. If you want to check it out, I'll include the link below. They have a ton of um, 80s and 90s new wave type bands, um, coverage, photos, um, reviews, and things like that, and news and such on that site. So anyway, this is a an overview of all the pop culture buttons and goodies that I have. And I look forward to showing you more in the future. And so thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm still very new to YouTube. I'm trying my best to come up with content for you to entertain you and educate you. And also just for my own sake of fun, because I'm weird and I like to have fun and why not, right? <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Share videos with your friends and ask them to subscribe as well. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, I'll be signing off. See you next time. Mwah.